All right, let's check in with Eric now. He is out and about on this beautiful evening. Yeah, he's at the Charles River School in Dover kicking it around. Eric. Yeah, out here with uh, the Leighton uh, Orient Football Club. They're visiting from London. They're traveling around the country doing some of these lessons with students, different schools around the area. Could you ask for any better weather night than tonight? Right now, practicing a few shots on goal here and some keeper practice as well. And I mean, ideal weather. After yesterday's storms, it's dry, it's warm. It's a good opportunity to have the kids get outside, get a little exercise. And everyone's talking about the World Cup as well. So when it's right in the front of the mind, good time to hopefully spark a little interest in the game of soccer out there. Let's take a look at some of the weather that we have had today. It has been picture perfect. To me, this is about as ideal as it gets. 84, the high in Boston, which is a little bit warmer than average. But the breeze and the low humidity making all the difference today. The stifling weather from yesterday, long gone as those dew points have been crazy. Crashing all day long. It's 81 now in Boston, 73 on the Vineyard. Worcester sitting at 77 degrees at Portsmouth, right at 80. Very comfortable air mass all across the Northeast. And overall, we're going to look at a pretty good stretch this week. One more chance of rain as we head into tomorrow night, but temperatures will stay very seasonable. No big heat and no big chill in the forecast for us over the next seven days. And we'd like to stay away from the extremes if possible. Uh, dew points, they're in the 40s and 50s. So again, this is an air mass that is straight out of Canada. It'll be with us for the next 24 hours. That humidity has been just shoved off to the south. Baltimore and Richmond still in that really soupy air. And the dry air that we have in place is really nice for cooling off. So we get these nice warm days like today, but tonight you can leave the windows wide open. It'll be comfortable. We are watching this next little wave of low pressure. It's going to ripple along that front and move off our south coast tomorrow night. Looks like we could get brushed with some rainfall, especially right along the south coast, Cape Cod and the islands, late tomorrow night and into early Thursday morning. But for tonight, great stargazing weather, clear and comfy, a first quarter moon out there, lows 50 to 56 in the suburbs, about 60 in Boston. Tomorrow we start the day with full sunshine and light winds. As we head toward midday, the sky starts to get a little bit more milky, some high clouds will be moving overhead, and those clouds will continue to increase as we head into the afternoon and evening. Not a whole lot of wind tomorrow, still a warm day, within a few degrees of 80 for most towns across the area, but it will become grayer as the day wears on. So not quite as sparkling of a day as what we've enjoyed this afternoon. Threading to the beach, again, your brightest skies in the morning. Maybe good fishing weather as we head into the afternoon as the clouds offer a little bit of protection from the sun if it'll be out there on the water. Low 60s are our ocean temperatures right now. As for the rain, we'll be watching again tomorrow night and early Thursday morning. Best chance, because this will be battling some dry air, is south of Boston, especially along the south coast, Cape Cod, and the islands. At this time, it doesn't look like we'll get any rain north of the Mass Pike. We'll see clouds start to decrease from north to south as we head into the afternoon. So the brightest spots will be New Hampshire and northern Mass on Thursday. Our grayest spots will be toward Cape Cod and the islands, but we'll get into the sun there later on in the afternoon. And temperatures generally about 70 to 76 for highs over the next several days. All right, let's take a look at our full seven day. I'd say Friday is going to be the pick as Saturday will feature some scattered showers across the area and Sunday will feature a scattered shower or a thunderstorm during the second half of the weekend. So your best outdoor day of the next seven, I would vote for Friday, a little cooler at the coast, 80 inland, all told very similar to today. So back here live, great evening on the soccer pitch and just great to see kids outside enjoying the beautiful weather, getting ready for school vacation. That was the last day of school I heard uh, from the folks here in Wellesley. So everyone's getting to that end of the tunnel, at least for the season. Guys, back to you.